Hey guys, we got a special treat for you tonight. We are gonna smoke on the Yoder Lord Wichita some Atlantic salmon and some sockeye salmon. You're supposed to be ready to go. I yeah. am ready to go. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Todd. I'm Sassy. And this is Greenhorn Barbecue Beer. And like I said at the intro, uh, we fired up the Yoder, the Loaded Wichita. This is the same Yoder that we modified with that monster stack and collector kit uh, by Nathan Munoz. The Mad Max Yoder. So obviously, a uh, <laughs> quick video here, go check it out. But uh, you know, it's a treat for us to have the uh, Yoder and plenty of uh, cooking wood and the weather's great outside. So we're gonna take advantage of that Yoder and, uh, and really get some nice smoked salmon. Um, we're gonna cook it a little high, a little fast, probably closer to 300 degrees. So we're looking for an internal temperature, maybe about 130. So we're going for kind of a more of a medium. Um, but Sassy, tell us how you're gonna season them. Oh, I'm, just, I'm gonna rub them down with just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna put some uh, parsley, some uh, ground pepper, and I'm going to crumble some of these yummy pork rinds. Pink, really pink Himalayan salt. Okay, baby, you ready? We got our sockeye salmon here. We don't need to do this side. It's got the skin. We're just gonna leave this like this. So we're gonna do the skin side down. Yes. I'm gonna put a drizzle, a little bit of olive oil on here, just enough for a little shimmer because I want to put some other yummy stuff on there. Yummy stuff. I like, I like that. I like that. Yummy. Alright. I'm going to put some crop pepper. <laughs> and then, this is epic. <laughs> Right, guys. Pink Himalayan salted pork rinds. Now, now, in case you're counting calories, let's look at the back of that label there. It says, let's see, the fat content is 3%. So what? Saturated fat, 3%. Here's the important thing. It has no sugar. Hey. Yep, no sugar. So it's all, of, it's all about me. Watch this. <laughs> Very interesting. So I guess you guys, if you follow this recipe, just get your fingers in there and just crush them up. We're going to top it off with some parsley. What's that? Oh. Parsley. Parsley. So for you guys, uh, just because it looks pretty, wanting to include a salad in your diet, this is pretty good stuff right here. It doesn't really have any flavor. It's a garnish, and it looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. We're gonna top it. Ta da with some lemon slices. This tastes like an orange lemon. It's actually pretty yummy. They're pretty yummy. I sliced them real thin. So we could put these on here. We'll put a couple of these here like that. And then check it out. Okay, you don't really want the seeds in there, but we're gonna go ahead. A little bit of lemon juice on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks good. You can even um, stick your fingers in here and just um, massage all that juice <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. See how fast that was? All right, so let's... Uh, this took less than five minutes to prepare. Head, let's head on out to the Yoder and uh, I'll show you guys what we got. All right, guys, before we get started here, we are affiliates for Gorilla Hawks grilling, outdoor accessories, backyard cooking, gear, all that stuff. We're gonna give you 20% off if you use discount code GREENHORN. Guys, down in the description, we're gonna set up a link for you. All you gotta do is follow it, and they got some fantastic products. Check it out, tell them GREENHORN sent you. All right, baby, whoa, <laughs> look at that. All right, so hold on a Sockeye second, baby. Atlantic. Sockeye. Atlantic. Okay, so hey, check it out before we get started here. Um, what in the heck? You are burning my grapes. <clears throat> okay, guys, just wanted to show you here the fire I got going here. Now, I used some mesquite 
to start the fire just like I did in my last video um, and uh, once the bed of coals got going I've got hickory on top of it so right now I'm looking pretty good on the left side looks like looks like it doesn't want to focus okay there we go um, the left side I'm getting right about 300 just above 300 on um, the right side um, looks like 300 as well so we're pretty even on both sides there you go so if you guys notice here I'm using a plate here now as a uh, heat block so we're gonna go on the toward kind of the middle and the middle left there we go all right guys that's about all we need to do except for tending to the fire I'm gonna to try to keep it 300 degrees so I'm gonna be putting hickory in there probably about every 15 minutes mm. just to make sure it's got enough uh, fire in there to keep that temperature normally we would probably go about 350 for about an hour um, I don't expect to take much more than an hour this time uh, but I'll definitely probe it with my instant read thermometer and uh, which is right here thermo pro I'll leave a little link in the description for you Fish doesn't take an hour to cook, by the way. Okay, well. And, and, and try not to burn down the rest of my grapes. Okay, well. <laughs> fried grapes. Anybody wants a fried grape? <laughs> I'll mess you up. Okay, guys, a quick note about that heat deflector that I just showed you. A subscriber, Anton Henriksen, suggested that it might be a good idea to take out the rest of that that plate that Yoder used in there that I cut down to try to use that as a baffle and instead go with a style like Franklin Pitts and use a deflector plate right above that firebox opening to uh, try to get a different kind of airflow bring it up the heat and the smoke up a little bit sooner so uh, I had a plate laying around and it's, it doesn't give the full width but I laid it on top of that uh, corner there and it seems to be making uh, a much more even type of temperature. I'm getting 300 degrees on both sides, which to me is really great, considering that my thermometers are at two different levels. So I'm really happy so far. Anton, thanks for the suggestion. It's working. It looks delicious. It cooks really fast. So of course, this is the Alaskan sockeye, and the lighter one is the Atlantic. Atlantic. Of course, these were mostly smoked uh, with hickory with a mesquite base. We did. Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the sockeye. <laughs> <laughs> in and out, in and out. Okay. I love that color. Okay. Softly, uh, the sockeye is a little um, fishier, seems like. Fishier? Probably but it tastes so good. Probably because it's fresher. I want you guys to comment down below and tell us what you think. Maybe you got some experience. Maybe you've actually uh, fished for salmon on in both the Atlantic and, and Alaska. Tell us all about it. All right, so I'm going to try the Atlantic salmon first. Put your little baby bites. <laughs> I like it. Meaty. Meaty. Real fresh tasting. Not real gamey or fishy, you know. And now the, uh, the Alaskan... Sockeye. Sockeye. Now we cook this skin side down, and I really don't like eating the skin, but you're probably going to get a little bit. That's all right. Mmm. Okay. Little fish here. Nice and chewy and meaty. It's well done. And chewy? Well, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't really fall apart, but... Um, What's yeah, that supposed to fall apart? A little apart? bit more of a salmon flavor, definitely. The Atlantic... <laughs> doesn't really taste to me like salmon. I mean, it's salmon, but it's not like a strong salmon. But that sockeye, mm, oh man, that's good. I'll try to leave a picture of what a sockeye salmon looks like. They're ugly. They'd be ugly fish. I don't know what they look like right now, but I'll, I'll leave a picture here. And then the uh, Atlantic salmon, uh, you know, again, I don't know what they look like, but they taste good. Thanks a lot for stopping by watching our video. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, yes, thank you out. very much. And we're going to continue cooking on a series of offset smoker cooks uh, with our Yoder while we're tuning in that collector plate. And uh, if you guys are interested in your own kit for a collector smoker stack kit for retrofitting yours, get a hold of me. Because we can make one to order for you through Nathan Munoz, our expert welder. 
fabricator, who's actually, I heard somebody say he might be starting his own smoker building shop, but you're going to have to talk to him about that. So anyway, folks, thanks again. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.